afternoon, this weekend. Today we gather to celebrate a beautiful moment on our nation's journey towards progress and efficiency. We proudly unveil the report card survey, RCS version 2000, a final instrument for assessing the quality and the effectiveness of government services. Marking the dawn of a new era in public service. Originating from the visionary provisions of Republic Act No. 1102, RCS 2.0 transcends mere evaluation. It serves as a catalyst for transformative change. This initiative empowers citizens to share their experiences and ensures accountability among agencies and fosters culture of continuous progress. This evening, we come together not only to acknowledge the exceptional achievements of those who have embraced this initiative, but also to honor the agencies that have not merely met, but exceeded the expectations set forth by our laws, delivering outstanding services to the Filipino people. It is a privilege to stand before you tonight surrounded by some of the most dedicated and impactful public servants in our country. We unite to celebrate the exemplary work of agencies and institutions that have achieved excellence, not just in meeting standards, but in surpassing them. Please join me in welcoming and acknowledging our esteemed guests. To our Director General, Secretary Ernesto V. Pérez, Secretary Cesar B. Chavez from the Presidential Communications Office. Under Secretary Al Azri Muhammad Sali, representing the Office of the Executive Secretary. To the Director General Moro B. Rebino Lazo, Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency. Secretary Michelle Christian of Lyon, the Department of Trade and Industry. And representing the Embassy of Malaysia, Assistant Trade Commissioner Agua Azmil. Ambassador Constance C. from the Embassy of the Republic of Singapore. First Secretary Connie Law of the Australian Embassy in the Philippines. Councillor Thor Howard of the Royal Norwegian Embassy. <laughs> Under Secretary Genesis Abba of the Office of the Deputy Director General for Legal and Land Directive Authority. <laughs> Under Secretary Ricky Judge Echeverry of the Office of the Deputy Director General for Administration. <laughs> Officer in Charge Walter Agas of Social Security System. Vice President Lido Pinas S. Geron of Lanham and the Philippines. <laughs> Assistant Secretary Gerardo Maula, Department of Budget and Management. <laughs> First, congressman Daza, good evening. <laughs> Vice President Ma Cortelisa Leon of Philex. Alexander Gasmundo, the Supreme Court of the Philippines. Court Administrator Raul Villanueva. <laughs> Director Yoon Ju Lee of the Korean Chamber of Commerce, Philippines. <laughs> so, this evening is not merely a celebration. It is a moment of gratitude and recognition for the silent heroes who tirelessly strive to enhance government services making them better, faster, and more accessible. Your dedication demonstrates that public service is not just a profession, but a calling. One where excellence is attainable, even amidst challenges. As we commemorate this milestone, 
We will hear inspiring messages from Senator Sherwin P. Gachalian, Assistant Secretary Michelle Christian Ablan, and Secretary Cesar B. Chavez. Additionally, Director General Secretary Ernesto B. Perez will present the framework and criteria for the report card survey 2.0 and the awards we bestow today. Under Secretary Al Azri J. Muhammad Sali will also share his vision for a Philippines where Filipinos are prioritized and world class service delivery is paramount. Following a delightful dinner and cultural performance, we will honor agencies that have received excellent and very satisfactory rating. Our program will culminate in recognizing the national government agencies, government-owned and controlled corporations, state universities and colleges, local government units, government hospitals and local water districts, whose unwavering passion for service truly inspires us all. So as we recognize this accomplishment, let us reflect on the words of Mahatma Gandhi. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Our award is exemplified this sentiment, focusing on the needs of the Filipino people and creating a profound impact that extends beyond the confines of their offices. I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to the tireless efforts of the Compliance Monitoring and Evaluation Office team led by Director Grace Fernandez. Their dedication and hard work have been instrumental in making this event possible. Let's give them a big hand. <laughs> Let us move forward with renewed, bigger, grounded in the principles of integrity, accountability, and service. Together, we can forge buildings that is truly world class. Congratulations once again to all our awardees. May your achievement shine as a beacon for others to follow. Together, let us continue to build the Tabo Filipinas, where every Filipino is seen, heard, and valued. Pabuhay ang ating awardees, pabuhay tayo lahat, at pabuhay ang Tabo